That is the end of round one. Round one over. Oh my god, I almost knocked the whole fucking thing over. Right. Round two! Cool, fight! Ha! Five whiskeys remain. Three in this grouping. Yeah. Two in the next grouping. Yeah. And, and one yeah, wins yeah. from each. Yeah. Okay. So what we have here is okay. we have the the single malt concert master. I think we've shown them all, so yeah, we yep. can just talk about And we through. have the ex bourbon oak. And we have the King Car Whiskey. Let's okay. just do it. Okay, if you're thinking that we're a little more silly manilly than usual, <laughs> silly manilly, it's because these are almost exclusively cask strength or yeah. much more than 40%. This is great. It's great. I love okay. it. This okay. is, these are my favorite episodes to film. Best episodes. Yeah. yeah. We got the Concert Master, we got the Ex Bourbon, and we have the King Car. Okay. Let's start with the King Car. King Car, let's go. Okay, here we go. Speed round. Yeah. Mm, that is that is really good. Oh, like really really good. Let's try the bourbon oak. Okay, here we go. Bourbon oak speed round. Oh god, just the nose. <laughs> That's fucking good. So good. I can tell you right now that that one beats this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now. So this one has to beat that one. Okay, here we go. Grain of salt. It's a disgusting habit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, actually. Like, honestly, maybe between the king car and this one. It's kind of hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what between talking? the king car, yeah, this one, and this one, yeah, they're like, how do you eliminate one? You know? How do you we like already two? said this one beat the king car. The king car's out. Oh, it's out. Yeah. <laughs> How do you okay. eliminate one? There's, so wait, that between, one was out instantly <laughs> between these two, though. But this one's not out against this one. This well, one can be the one that's out. It doesn't matter. We're just trying to find one. So if it was uh, didn't beat that one, it's fucking gone. Okay. You so I mean? let's like, let's try this one. <laughs> oh yeah, the bourbon oak wins. <laughs> The bourbon oak wins. <laughs> Wait, you know in case I... anyone's at their edge of their seat right now. Oh yeah, way better. <laughs> way better. Huh. Mm. It's got that banana kind of thing going it on. It does too. have a little bit of a banana. I wonder if they high. use Jack Dan No, they couldn't call it bourbon. No, you're right. That's actually actually that's an interesting uh, comment. <laughs> <laughs> at least we've had one tonight. <laughs> it's interesting that it's wrong. Yeah. It's interestingly wrong. <laughs> okay. You know what else tasted like bananas, though, was mm. um, Old Forester. Ooh. This could be an Old Forester bourbon cask. Could be. Yeah. That's the only other thing that we've really tasted a dominant banana in. You don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> yeah, dominant bananas. <laughs> get it. Not, uh, dominant okay. banana. Okay. How am I going to get this down to 15 minutes? No, there's probably a lot of bullshit in here, but I mean, is there a fucking is it two thirds bullshit? Probably, probably yeah. <laughs> Close like By the way, everybody, this one goes to the third round. Winner, these two, lose ha. Okay, people, we are back, ready to rock and roll. End of round two. Let's okay. go. What do we got? We got the single malt wine oak, and we've got the fino sherry oak. Ooh, oh, okay, that's very interesting. Very sherry. This whole thing came off. You must have done that. Yeah. No, <laughs> fucking blame me. Oh, let's do the Fino Sherry. Right here. Here we go. Palate cleanse. Salty deliciousness. Oh, that is really, really good. I haven't tasted it, but... <laughs> so you say. It's good. It is good. You're not wrong. Has it's, a little it bit is, of a... It's very sherry. It really sherry is. Sherry leather. It's got that leather. It's got the kind of a caramelized something to it. There's something caramel in it. Well, it's kind of like that burnt sugar, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's like cooked sugar It's like creme sweetness. brulee. Yeah. 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 It's got a candied sugar mm, kind of thing. That is really, really good. Oh. Oh, wow. That's so different. And then there's this one. What's this guy called again? Just the wine oak. That's a hard Ooh. choice. How do you choose? On the nose, this one just like completely 
it envelops all of your senses right away. It's so unique. It's so different. So unique and different. That's the thing. Mm. <clears throat> Why are more people doing wine oak? Mm-hmm. That's good. Guys, it depends on the wine. Yeah. Okay. This is different because on the nose, this one is blowing my mind versus this one. But on the flavor, this one is kind of blowing my mind. It's so hard. This is really Here's hard. Here's my problem. Yeah. Here's my problem with this one. <laughs> okay. Here's my problem with the sherry oak. Mm, that is good. My problem with the sherry oak is that it's been done. It's the Fino sherry oak. <laughs> right. It's been done. It's all been <laughs> done. <laughs> Yeah, the nose on this one's so good. Oh, I think we gotta go with this, honestly. I agree, actually. You think? I, I do agree. I was thought that you were leaning more here, and I was like, how am I gonna convince him to move to well, this one? I'm leaning on this one because the flavor of it is is really really good but it, it is a it real... has been done you're right yeah. it's not it's not something that is 100 percent unique sherry's played out <laughs> it's true it's true <laughs> but i mean it's done so well like the cavalan knows how to do their whiskey mm. okay final answer winner <laughs> of this this you know final this answer you've determined the winner <laughs> why no i don't okay. gonna say okay you I you agree. don't get a second. I 100% agree. <laughs> okay, let's put this to the loser's bracket, which we will be drinking very vigorously <laughs> later. Okay. Okay, people. The f round three. The finals. Mm. Wow. Okay, we have the bourbon oak on our left, your right, versus the single malt whiskey wine oak. I don't know how we're going to choose. Can we just choose them both? No. But we will drink them both. Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm this gonna let for you pour just both of them. Okay, here we go. Let's go with uh, the wine oak on the right, your left. Slightly darker. Slightly darker. And I'm gonna have to actually, let's do both. Compare them together. Mm, yeah, we should. Because we don't have, normally in the final round we're like, oh look, we need more time. We don't have any more whiskey of either of these. No. We used them all up, so. It sucks we, we use the ones that we like the, the best, best ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're gone. But it was a delicious night. Oh, man. This this wine oak, I tell you, there's something about it that no is joke. so unique oh, that is completely different. But this one just hit but, me with a little it, bit of a... It hit you with its best shot? <laughs> no. No? Go f*** yourself. Um, that was... Mm. It's just that banana cream pie that just yeah, keeps it getting. It's like, banana cream pie. I it's, can't let it go. It's got that Boston cream kind of center to it. Mm, that is unbelievable. It's got a little bit of this biscuity kind of thing going on. It's so... This is such a dessert. Like whiskey. pancake syrup. Oh. Pancake syrup is what I'm trying to say. Shit's <laughs> getting weird. Um, okay, now. Now with the wine oak. Like, that's just so good, too. It's oh, a little man. bit more, uh, like, it has some cinnamon notes and kind of, like, oaky notes to it. It's dense and it's rich, but if I'm judging on the nose alone, I'm going to go with the bourbon cask because the bourbon cask, that pancake syrup and bananas yeah. and, like... It's got a very inviting it's, oh, nose. It's a very appealing. I think anyone would like that nose. <laughs> anyone yeah. that likes a good lumberjack breakfast is going to pick the bourbon <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you're pouring maple syrup on your sausages, you know? <laughs> oh, man, we haven't even tasted it. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. Okay, now on okay. flavor. You're drinking it? Yeah. The flavor on this wine oak is something that I've never tasted before. That's completely different. Like, you can chew it. It tastes like you can chew this one, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There's some grit there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. True grit. True. <laughs> There's some true <laughs> grit. <laughs> wow, that is good. Okay. That is nice. I gotta cleanse my palate. Yeah. I'm gonna start over here. Can't let anything influence this decision. Nothing will impact this decision. We're taking donations, by the way. No, oh, Patreon. 
Yeah. Okay, now we're moving on to the bourbon oak. This is a very important decision. Like, this is... Well, people can't find this video anywhere. You're not <laughs> going to be able to find ten Catalans being tasted at the same time. This is true. Probably for good reason. Yeah. Because it's nobody has a ten Catalans. Stupid idea. I mean, yeah. nobody has ten Catalans. That nose again. Okay. Mm. I. Oh yeah, my god. You know. Okay. There's. I hate to say it. There is like something that is just heads and tails with this one above. This one is unreal. It's it's got that um, citrus pineapple kind of acidic sort of a tropical fruit notes. Um, it has like a kind of effervescence to it. But yet the nose is really creamy and bananas and, banana and, and banana cream pie and, and like just amazingly just got good. The crust is, they're so it's so good. Ah, oh. this one's really nice too, but it just doesn't give us that same feeling. In reality, when you're judging a whiskey, yes, nose is huge, of course, and the nose does completely slay on both of them. They're yeah, amazing. They're both really good. Nose. Completely unique to each other. Yeah. However. In the why end, you do you drink it? Why do you you got to drink it eventually? You're not just gonna leave it. To why are we here? It. We're yeah. gonna drink it. You gotta drink it. So I think on the flavor, the bourbon oak is is just just amazingly good. They're both fifty four percent. Yeah, it's a good comparison. So it's a fantastic finals, and you know what? I think it's. I think the difference between first and second is quite. There's quite a difference between them and third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah. That was an exciting video. I'm glad you guys hopefully stuck around. Uh, if you yeah. ever get a chance to get this bourbon oak uh, Cavalan, Castor, do it. Yeah. We just got to give a shout out right away, <laughs> right away, <laughs> to uh, uh, Larry Shane. Larry Shane from the Cava Fan Group. Yeah. On Facebook, join it. We bought this through him. Uh, you can do the same. It's well worth it. It's a good yeah. experiment in trying completely different whiskeys from each and other. And then you know what you like. So, thank Very you. Very cool. Subscribe. Cheers. See you next time.